With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi guys, here is the question. If a liquid drop of radius r is spread into n small drops of equal radius small r, this is capital R, what is the work done in this process? So guys, the solution is very simple. The surface tension of the liquid that is T we can say and surface energy of the large drop that is surface energy of large drop that is surface area pi r square into surface tension T okay so by surface energy for all small drops surface energy for all small drops that is n into surface area 4 pi small r square into t so the total surface area of the whole small drop put together in more than the surface area of large drop okay hence the system required external work done to be done on it so as the external work done is external work that should be equal to total final energy minus initial energy okay that would be equal to w work done final n into 4 pi r square into t minus 4 pi capital r square into t now we have to calculate relation between small radius and capital radius now the total volume of the liquid is constant before and after so we can say that 4.3 pi r cube into n final volume that should be equal to 4.3 pi capital r cube initial volume from here we get the value of r is capital r divided by n raised to power 1 by 3 so from here if we put small r we get 4 pi capital R T into n divided by n 2 by 3 minus 4 pi capital R square into T so as after solving this we get the value of w is 4 pi r square into t into n raised to power 1 by 3 minus 1 this is the final answer work done that should be done in this process thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today